Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can get free access to the latest in image analysis software for immunoblot and gel electrophoresis analysis for Etix1D from Total Lab. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a free copy of our next generation advanced immunoblot and electrophoresis analysis software for Etix1D. Now of course you can request a free trial for seven days that will allow you to test out the software within your own lab environment on your own images. However, we've also built in a second avenue to free usage of our software, and that's to cover academic use. So here at Total Lab, we want to support the next generation of scientists, and we want to give them the tools, i.e. our software, that they'll be able to use to make their education, their learning, and their future work life much easier. So with that in mind, we've built in a way of training people on Fretics 1D without having to buy a, a whole license if you're situated in a university or something like that. So when you first download a copy of Fretics 1D and try and open it, you're greeted with this screen. Now again, if you were, if you hadn't tried the software before and you wanted a free trial of the software, you can try it for free for seven days. However, if your seven days has run out, you won't have an activation key to put in here that is valid. However, if you come down to the bottom right hand corner of the software here, you can see the op you've got the option to open a tutorial image. Now we've got a single channel and a multiplex tutorial image that you can open within the software without having to have an active software license. So if I click on one of these, you can see that it opens up within the software and I can run through an example of what an analysis would look like. This is fantastic for training new users or for educational purposes, academic purposes, within the structure of a lecture or within a practical experiment, showing students how they would analyze their own images if they were to have a copy of Fretix 1D. So the first example is a single channel example, a single channel image example that we've got. And I'll just run through quickly how you would present this to students and show them how to accurately analyze a Western blot in place of their own. So we'd come through, so we've got our image here and our 3D view here. And obviously from any of these sections, we can right click and copy to clipboard or save to file. So you can get your publication quality images straight from the software. Again, uh, that would be a great teaching moment for students um, to be able to export all of these different sections onto a paper or a poster presentation as part of their studies. Uh, so we've got all of our contrast controls, our image adjustments that you could run through with the students and telling them, you know, this is the gamma slider and changes the kind of the white levels of the image. And then we've got the upper and lower contrast settings. And in here, we've got our kind of heat maps to allow us to better identify fainter bands uh, within the image by increasing the contrast between band and background, for example. We come through to our lanes mode. I'll just turn that off as a little distracting. We come through to our lane modes and we can show them ways of uh, automatically detecting lanes. So with the built-in automatic lane detection algorithm or by manually drawing boxes around their, their lanes and things like that, as I've shown you in, in other demonstrations of the software. And then once we've got some lanes, we can then go through with students and explain to kind of them kind of how, why we want to remove the background from an image, why background removal is important and how the different modes work to remove background signal and background noise. And I've done another video that you can find on our YouTube page that goes into much more detail uh, about kind of in which situations you would use which background removal method. But also if you press F1 within the software, you will be taken to our help guide that's built into the software that will explain every mode in a bit more detail in all the settings that you've got within there. We've got the ability to obviously import any of our uh, molecular weight markers and automatically calculate things like molecular weight of our bands, etc. We've got our automatic band detection method, of course. You've got full access to the software. The only restriction is that it's limited to the two images that come as tutorial images. Uh, so if you want kind of I'll run through the multi-channel image as well so if I wanted to come off this mode so 
So if I go back into trying to launch Vertex 1D in an unlicensed state, and if I click the drop down and open the multiplex example, again here we get a multiplexed image example, and you can run through the software showing students how you would handle multi channel images within the software. Again, full control over the software's features just based, just locked to one of two images. So you can go through, you can build an entire lecture around how we would quantify uh, Western blot images and things like that. You just can't use your own images as you can with the free seven day trial. So this is how you would get free access to our next generation immunoblotting and gel electrophoresis software for Ethics 1D. I hope this helps you educators, you academics out there that want to be able to run through this, this kind of process as part of maybe a Western blotting practical um, kind of what you can do with your results after you've captured your images of your of your gel or your blot. I hope this is really helpful for you and it's something we at Total Lab want to encourage um, people across the world to be able to do so that the next generation of scientists have a really solid understanding of the analytics that can come once they've completed their Western blotting experiment. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to download a free copy of Phoretics 1D for use in your teaching, please check out the links in the description below.